Hello, in today's video we are going to do low and slow smoked beef ribs. You can use this if you want to put it into the oven. Follow the instructions, no problem at all. With that, let's get into it. In the description below you will see all the different steps, the ingredients. It is all documented step by step. So in this step you will need to have mustard, apple juice, Worcestershire sauce. Mix it up as a sauce. This will become your binder when you add it to the ribs. You will start rubbing and having the ribs really well coated in that binder. Once it's all bound together, you will add in the barbecue rub. Once you start mixing the rub with the binding, what you will find is that the consistency of the rub starts to become quite wet and it almost feels like it is uh, almost like beach sand like wet soggy beach sand it'll just feel really awesome and it'll cover all of the ribs really well the south africanism for this video is drik di knoppie so what does drik di knoppie mean it means push the button yes push the subscribe and notification bell so you don't get to miss out on another video so that is drip di knoppie so we have the temperature set at 180 you can see it's nice and stable been pre-warming now for about 15 minutes we're going to be putting in a probe the probe will be into one of the uh, ribs we will be setting the probe to an internal temperature of 160 degrees it'll take about three hours to get to that temperature let's just get it set up Guys, we have now taken the ribs off the heat. Just the smell is incredible. Now we've got to get into the next step. And what we're going to do is we are going to take our sugar and we are going to lightly just sprinkle the sugar over the ribs. And that will start getting it, the ribs into that caramelized space of wellness you need to warm up the honey for around 30 seconds and mix the honey with the apple juice here we go i'm just busy stirring the liquid let it just mix in ah oh, man this is if we had the ability of doing a scratch and sniff over the over this video the smell would be amazing and then we're just going to pour the liquid over it doesn't have to be beyond perfect, right? Because they all will have a turn. And then we just add in a little bit of sugar on top of that. Um, there are three layers of foil over here, right? So unless you have that extra thick foil, take three foil pieces and make sure this is seriously seriously airtight you do not want to have a situation where there is any gaps so this is getting into the crucial phase of it we reset the temperature to now move to 225 degrees Fahrenheit the food is going to be in the smoker for another two hours and the inside temperature is going to need to be at 205 the good news is it's got to get to 205 for two hours worth of cooking the bad news is you have no way to check it. So guys, I have now taken the container out of the smoker. We are down to the final stage, which is putting on the rub. 
well the sauce I'm just using this stuff right but you can use any single commercial marinade it doesn't make a difference um, and then what we do is just be careful when you open this up because it's going to be very hot very steamy and I will then uh, coat it with the marinade and we then put it back onto the smoker uh, for one hour Wow That is impressive. Okay guys, let me get this back onto the smoker. You keep the smoker at the same temperature, so it's going to be 220 for one hour. Wow, guys, we have now taken this deliciously smelling ribs off the smoker. Wow, they look incredible. The smell, the everything just is spectacular. Oh my word, where do I start? Look how remarkable those look. Look at that. That is just spectacular. My word. Mm. Wow, look at that. Mm. The flavors, the sweetness, everything that you would be expecting from a smoked rib that has been cooking for six hours is exactly this and it is beyond magnificent beyond you do not need a smoker for this rib recipe you can use your oven the only difference is is that you're not going to get that smoke flavor but everything else you will have i'm speechless and i am it's very rare that i'm speechless and I am speechless, truly speechless. Has this been, is this worth waiting six hours? Absolutely, this is worth waiting six hours. Guys, the only thing left to say is, check you on the next one. <laughs>